Hey there, folks. Jason again, Blue Able Bastards Wargaming, and I'm um, going for the hat trick tonight. I'm trying to get three A videos out in one day. This one's going to be talking about the progress I've made on my bolt action German force. So let's talk a little bit more about that. Um, other than the Tiger tank I painted up, which I showed in a, in a previous vlog, I haven't done any figure painting. So this discusses kind of how I how I jump into that. Uh, I bought a bunch of stuff, but I want I, I like starting with kind of headquarters models or something where I can kind of play around with the paint schemes a little bit. And there's a whole lot out there about different colors and schemes that you can go with. Um, so because I liked the Vallejo system for the tanks, I decided to do it with the uniforms. And there's also a sale on uh, their uh, German field gray uh, paint scheme, which is primarily for like 54 millimeter figures or larger. I mean, you can see the insane detail on the guy they've got here in the picture, and I'm never going to get that scheme. But I just wanted to be able to pick up a box. I got it on sale that I could just pick through the paints and follow their kind of their instructions. Their instructions weren't the best, as I mentioned before. I'm not going to go into as much detail as I did previously. But before I go any further, um, the pictures, I, I'm, pl I'm really pleased with how the figures came out. But as an aside, I need to find a better way of photographing minis because as I took my pictures on my iPhone, which probably isn't the best place to start, and I put them in the slideshow, they just look like not as good as they look in person. So as I mentioned in my Hail Caesar vlog that I uh, is on his way up, is, is loading as we speak, or rendering as we speak, I'm go I, I purchased a, a light box to try to take some better fo photographs. So these aren't really doing it justice. Uh, that being said, what I decided to go with, there's kind of two different options. You can have like, if you look at the, the hat that this guy is wearing here, that's kind of a greenish color, and then his uniform jacket is is gray. Everything, I, I did a lot of looking around the internet. There's different shades for different periods of the war, and somebody can please correct me if, if they like. I decided to go with the greenish colored top and the grayish colored pants for the officers. I may just end up going with straight green for all of the soldiers. Again, I was kind of playing around with this. So that's what I ended up moving forward with. And so this is one of the two figures. If if you look back, let's see if I can back up here. You know what? I'm not going to. So uh, I was going for going with the um, the here command squad. This is one of two guys. And, and first off, if you, if you notice, so this uh, guy has the pistol with the, the the extendable stock that you can put on there. And you notice there's no gun barrel on there. This snapped off. And I tried to re-gluing it once, and it didn't stick, and it came off, and I, I, I raided another kit for another barrel and glued it on. And right before I took this picture, it broke off, which is why the uh, the gun itself looked a little soft. The sculpt was just fine, and I just gave up at this point. So this guy has had a catastrophic uh, uh, misfire, and it blew the barrel off, which is why it looks weird. Otherwise, it looks completely normal. So um, you can see here, this is what the model looks like. Uh, I just use the, oh, the other thing that irritates me, I, I, I love Warlord games, their customer service is great, but they don't include even their normal size bases for uh, bolt action metal figures. I get, I guess, why they don't do it for Hail Caesar, because people can put things in different bases. It seems like essentially every figure in Warlord games, every infantry figure goes on basically a 40k size base. I don't know what the dimension is. They don't include it here. So I had to raid another one of my um, infantry squads to get the bases. It's just on their plastic base. I used MIG uh, European dry mud, the same stuff that I used on my uh, uh, Hail Caesar army, and then just some tufts of grass. And so I followed along with the instructions on the uh, Vallejo kit, and I can go through the different paints and everything if people are interested. I have a feeling there's a lot of better tutorials out there if you don't think there is i'm more than happy to post it later uh there's separate combinations for recesses and the the base coat and the highlights and and they're really i think they really look good in person they don't look good in these pictures uh in fact ugh, i'm just really irritated with how this ended up coming out so what you might be able to see there is the greenish color on the top and the gray pants 
Um, and there's the broken off gun barrel. So if you can't tell, I'm really pleased with how the models themselves came out. I'm irritated that I broke the barrel off of the one, and I'm extremely disappointed in my... I'm looking over at the models now, and they look pretty good in person. Uh, much better than most tabletop quality I've seen, but here they just don't look good. And here's the other guy. Didn't break off the barrel off of his gun, but uh, it's just not showing up all that well. You can see the gray pants uh, versus the kind of the gray uniform jacket. I'm charging forward looking uh, like a pissed off Nazi. Uh, and I put this in there, and I tried it with the flash so it would show up with a difference. So you can see the gray on the bottom versus the greenish on the top. For some reason here, it looks really chalky. And I'm like, I'm looking at it in person, I'm like, it doesn't look like that. So if I ever meet any of you in person and I put this out there, I'm going to show you the models and you can, you can tell me if I'm really that bad of a painter or not. Same thing with the base, tufts of grass, uh, MIG European dry mud. Uh, and just so just different schemes. Uh, so what, uh, in terms of what I'm going to go forward with next, and this is, you know, I, I'd welcome other people's thoughts. So this was my plan and I kind of took these pictures a little bit out of order. Uh, so I'd already started on these guys. Now it looks like they're painted in the, uh, late war. They've got the camo on. I'm not an expert at this. Uh, what uniform comes out when I thought that the SS primarily had the camo, but these guys must as well. This is, uh, what I already have prepped. So I've got these guys, uh, what I normally do is I base coat them black and then I do a dusting of white or gray on the top. Um, and then you can see on the right, uh, the other model that didn't end up getting painted from the first here command group and the medic is somewhere too. So I was gonna do, do these guys, but I've also got a whole big old stack of stuff uh, it's not all bolt action. Some of it is Hail Caesar in the back of things that I can work through. So if people are interested in seeing uh, other kits or uh, part of me thinks I should start on some infantry squads so I can get closer to playing with these two officers, those are pretty much the most amount of officers you're going to need for most games is my sense is two you may only need one because most of the infantry squads come with sergeants which is kind of the the you know the local nco so i'm open to if you see something in there i've got an opal blitz truck uh, i could do a review on paint that up given my experience with photographing these models i'm not i feel like i'm a better vehicle maker than a uh figure painter which is a bit disappointing because Bolt action is a figure, you know, infantry game more than a vehicle game. But if you if folks see something in there, uh, I've got the late war infantry group. I could do another tank. Could do the uh, the little scout car, the truck. Let me know. Uh, I'll probably make up my mind later on this week. But if you feel like posting a comment, I would uh, welcome it. In terms of parting shots, the Vallejo German field gray paint kit. I think it's really. I think it's better suited for. People that are going to do like competition quality or the 54 millimeter, the really big, super detailed, got to get the skin tone and uniform right. I think it's better for those kind of folks than it's for war gamers. For war gamers, most of us, I think, are using maybe three or four different highlights at the most, unless you're doing competition grade. So it was useful for me, but I didn't use a lot of the paint in the kit. Again, if people are interested in the paint combinations that the kit includes, I'm more than happy to show them. Warlord Games uh, Command Group for here, which is another name for the German Army. Uh, pretty cool, uh, except for the one gun barrel which broke off, which I don't think is Warlord Games' fault. The models themselves are fine. They should include bases, though. Rawr. Rant. Uh, it does feel good. It, again, I just posted a comment, uh, said that essentially the same thing in my Hail Caesar vlog, which will be going up extremely shortly. Um, it does feel good to make some progress. I just need to decide what to do next, and I would welcome your thoughts. So I hope you guys liked it. I need to find a better way to take pictures, and when I get this light box and I get the picture thing taken out, I'm going to go back and take pictures of these models, and you'll see that they, they're better than they look in this video. But I wanted to have something out there. So uh, with that slightly grumpy ending, I uh, hope you guys are having a great New Year's, and happy Wargaming.